penalty to get in the flip of Carbine. We're going to go all the way. Right, Welcome to the Calm Part Hello everyone and welcome to another news episode of the Combat Collective, bringing you everything you want to know in the world of robot combat, from BattleBots to the live scene, from the heavyweight class to the fleetweight class, and talking about just that here today as we're doing our first news video about insect class robotics here, more specifically the very popular beetleweight class, as uh, we're talking about a very popular UK robot entering the very popular Norwalk Havoc series. This is going to be a great match made in heaven. But, of course, before we get to that, I am your host as always, Sterling Brown, former writer at Third Law Sports, current BattleBots subreddit moderator, and current runner of King of Draft. Let's jump into this interesting news here about Saw Loser entering Norwalk Havoc. As announced on May 1st on his Instagram, Alex Mordu, captain of Team RGP for the past four years and an original team member of Firestorm from the classic Robot Wars. Mm -hmm. As uh, for those who don't know, Firestorm, of course, one of the best robots from that classic UK Robot Wars era. Probably the best robot to never win the UK championship or any major championship for that matter. The team never really messed much with the live circuit. But uh, talking about Alex Mordu, he is now making the jump to the United States for the Norwalk Havoc May 2022 qualifier, bringing the team's signature robot, Saw Loser 2. The Saw Loser lineage has been a real mainstay in the UK Beetleweight scene since about 2018, where Alex Mordu made his return to robot combat after a 15-year hiatus. Saw Loser itself is a very Whiplash-esque Beetleweight that was a fan favorite at the Bugglebots 2018 event where it debuted. Making it all the way to that series' Grand Finals Rumble, along with winning Best Design Award that year. Saw Loser 2 would then do even better at the second edition of BuggleBots in 2019, as the robot would make it all the way to the Final Four, placing fourth overall in the event, with wins over robots like Wide Boy and Thunderchild along the way. Saw Loser also has some quality placings at other events throughout the years, finishing second at the 2019 UWE Bot Brawl, and recently tying for 7th at the 2022 Bristol Bot Builders Scouse Showdown back in March, only a couple months ago, so it does have some recent success. This will be the very first time Saw Loser has competed outside of Europe, and Team RGB has picked quite a time to enter for a shot at the 2022 Norwalk Finals in December, as this May competition is themed exclusively around brand new robots which have never competed at a Norwalk Havoc before. This will put Saw Loser at quite the advantage as it will be the veteran over many of these brand new robots that have never competed at an event before. Robots that were made exclusively, specifically I should say, for this event. So it's going to be much the veteran compared to a lot of these robots, even if they have veteran teams behind them. Saw Loser also has another special unique advantage going for it at this event. As with a mini bot, according to Norwalk Havoc rules, robots are able to have a one pound extra for weight. Um, which has allowed Alex Mordu to add an antweight four-wheel drive, wedgelet little, gladiator-style mini-bot to drive alongside Saw Loser to give it more control in some of these fights where it's going to be facing some heavy-duty spinners. And talking more about Norwalk Havoc, this show is no stranger to international entries as the event has recently hosted robots from the Bahamas, Mexico, Canada, and very recently Brazil with robots like Wasabi showing up at this event. And in fact, Saw Loser will only be the second ever UK Beetleweight to enter Norwalk Havoc, only coming in behind the Shrew, a robot originally from John Frizzle of Steel Sandwich and Terror Turtle fame. A robot that was very unique, it was fully autonomous, two-wheel drive, had a wedge, and a specialized kind of drill weapon on the front. It was an awesome robot, but due to its really revolutionary design style being an autonomous robot, the team wouldn't even show up at events, they would just bring the robot and let it fight for itself. The Shrew never had much success at Norwalk Havoc. I don't even believe the robot ever won a fight in its history. This leaves Alex Mordu and Saw Loser to a huge opportunity to show up and show out and really be the first European robot to have a strong outing at a Norwalk Havoc event. Alex and Saw Loser are looking to advance into a Norwalk Finals, which already features a strong lineup of robots like Wasabi, who we just talked about, Team AGVN's Vicious Drumbot from Brazil, 
Also at this event is Blackbird, the robot that placed second at the most recent Norwalk Havoc event. This is another drum bot captained by a friend of the show, Tony D'Ambrosio. And also at this event, numerous Norwalk Havoc All-Stars, which people who are familiar with the show are very really aware of. Robots like Caldera, Silent Spring, and of course the defending Norwalk Havoc 2021 Beetleweight Finals Champion Lynx also confirmed for the 2022 Finals. Is that all is what we know so far? Of course, this, this Norwalk Havoc event is going to be happening on May 14th. You can watch this show on YouTube. You can watch it on NHRL.io. We'll put the links to the YouTube channel in the description below. But, you know, this is a really big opportunity, like I was saying, for the European scene to make another impact here in the U.S. The European scene has been stunted big time by BattleBots not being able to really have any British robots in the past two seasons besides Beta in 2020. We all know what happened in 2021 and how unfortunate that was. How much of a shame it was to have robots like Ominous, Monsoon, Beta, Sabretooth all get shut down right there at the gate, unable to show up. Hopefully we won't have this this year. But that's BattleBots. This is Norwalk Havoc. And this is a huge deal. This is going to be the first British robot that we've seen compete in American soil and um, outside of the Shrew, of course, in uh, over a year now, that uh, the one a robot that's at least captained by another human being. And this is really exciting. When I was watching BuggleBots back in the day, um, Star Loser was one of my favorite robots in the competition. I love classic Robot Wars. I love Firestorm. Alex will do a very regular fixture in the Bristol Bot Builders Beetleweight events. Now hopefully trying to become a fixture at Norwalk Havoc. But that's going to wrap it up for the news right here at the Combot Collective. Like I said, I am Sterling Brown, your host as always. You can find me on Instagram at SterlingTXTG and in future projects this year. If you like what you're seeing here at the Combot Collective, we're going to be doing more news as the year comes along. More BattleBots news, more live event news, more Beetleweight and other small bots class news. Talking about new events that are coming up on the pipeline. So stay tuned for all that. If you like what you're seeing here, please give us a like, please comment, please subscribe, and please follow us on our other social media pages, our Facebook, our Discord, our Instagram. We'd love to see you there. Thank you so much for watching this Combot Collective News episode, and we will see you next time. This was the Combot Collective. I'm the hardest hard ram, and this Discord.